Now that we understand FM synthesis, let's take a look at the difference between exponential, linear, and linear through zero FM. In exponential mode, you will notice as I increase the FM amount, the pitch starts to drift upwards. So right now this is a pure sine wave tone. Now as I increase the FM amount, we add upper harmonics, but the pitch is also going up. So there's always a pitch instability when it comes to exponential FM. It does stay static once you leave the FM amount at a particular value. But changing this FM amount affects the pitch. Alright, switching to linear FM. It sounds like it's pretty much the same thing, though if you notice that at a smaller value, the pitch doesn't get affected as much. Let me play a higher note. So at about here at three, we notice that the pitch doesn't change. But if you go higher, it does end up affecting the pitch. Finally, in linear through zero, I'll go back down an octave. Here you'll notice that the pitch never drifts out of tune. Now in most of the FM synth software plugins we're going to look at in this course, Linear through zero FM is the implementation used because it gives you the best pitch stability. Now let's talk about the pitch relationship between the carrier and the modulator, which is a very important aspect in FM synthesis. So right now they both are set to the same pitch, which is coming from the keyboard module. If you were to use a ratio, we can say it is a one to one ratio. Let's say I set the modulator an octave above. Now we can say the pitch relationship between the modulator and the carrier is two is the one because it is twice as much as the carrier. How would this sound like? In linear through zero FM, it still sounds perfectly in tune, but the timbre does change. Compare this to being perfectly in tune to the same pitch or one is the one ratio. And here we have a two is the one ratio. So these kind of whole number mathematical relationships between the modulator and carrier is implemented in every FM synth engine. If you don't use these whole number values, so let's say if I set this to five and give it some detuning here, 5.64, you notice that the sound becomes very dissonant. I'm trying to play a C major scale there. It sounds all kind of out of tune. But if we set this to even two octaves above, it's back in tune. How about a fifth above? Still not too bad. How about an octave and fifth above? Pretty good as well. So as long as you're using whole number values for pitch, or whole number ratios between the modulator and the carrier, you will get a consonant sound. But if your goal is to create dissonance, you can use fractional values instead. Alright, in the next tutorial, we're going to take a look at Ableton's operator synth.